it's so sunny out and bright. It's so beautiful, but it's still cold. Yeah, but I like when the sun is out. Man. So I am on my way to work. I'm going to office. Not feeling it, but I'm go. So I want to talk about something that's on my mind, and I'm sure a lot of you have dealt with this. So let's discuss. What do you do when you work in a department or organization that is toxic? Hmm. What if you have a leader that everyone knows they're toxic or they're really not a good leader? they keep them around and then you're the employee stuck because you can't grow what do you do so I've kind of been in that situation so I sometimes I'm baffled but people gotta remember everybody has different personalities first of all and a lot of people don't they don't always know how to deal with their emotions and they bring their emotions to work and they project it and they take it out on others I see it I've seen it um, and sometimes it's not much you can do other than address the leader address them try to uh, communicate with them um, and then if that doesn't work, you have to decide what's best for you. So, yeah, I mean, it's so tricky because there are things, there's HR laws and policies and laws in place to help with a lot of things. And we all know, so discrimination and other things. And then there's just ethical things. But a lot of times, it's very hard to to I guess shall I say it's it's hard to pinpoint like what what it what it really is sometimes. But a lot of times, it's it really doesn't matter what it really doesn't matter what that person's going through. It has nothing to do with you, but. If it becomes a serious problem where you find yourself stuck and you cannot progress as a person, um, you can't get promoted, whatever it may be, you might want to think about rolling out. Like, <laughs> seriously, no. But no. Everything is in due time, but what I will say is <clears throat> I was filling out this form and one of the questions to ask me, what is the challenge? What are some of the challenges that you face as an African American leader? And I'm like, hold up. Do I really gotta answer that question? I mean, we all know the challenges, right? I mean, we see it all the time. Like we saw what Obama went through. I mean, he was called all kinds of stuff to belittle, belittle him, belittle his achievements, his accomplishments as a black man. Oh, and not to mention now, Kamala Harris. Huh. But she, she made it, honey. She made it. She made it for us. Do you know what that means? Think about that. But no, seriously, let's talk about African-American leadership and the challenges. So we do face a lot of challenges with our counterparts. But what I want to talk about is why we got to face challenges with our own people. Okay? Especially African-American women. What is up with that? I just want to know. I want to know. Do they need, like, a man? Is, I mean, is, is it that you need a man in your life? Or... You're not happy with yourself, so you come to work and you project it on others. You don't like yourself? I had a coworker that said to me one time, 
it's because they don't like themselves. And you know when she said that? I never really thought that deep. I knew it was kind of there, but I never thought that deep. And I'm like, you know what? That's some emotional intelligence for you. So, <clears throat> the thing is, that's sad though. For African American women, we have to struggle and we have to fight just to make it especially women that are in the workforce um and i don't care what organization it can be education it can be corporate it can be it can be healthcare. it can be public schools it can be anything and we're never good enough never but we're better we're much better okay I, I, i'm gonna claim that yeah we're much better at leading but sometimes I don't know it's like have you ever been in a situation where you can't stand going into the office or going to work because you're just so unhappy with how things are and what management is doing and then you wonder how no one else sees it like and the crazy thing is they see it oh they see it but they're not going to tell that person they keep the person and you're wondering why they're keeping the person you're trying to figure out why and it's not just one co-worker that have an issue it's all co-workers and they talk amongst themselves but they will never share it with their leader but you got to be careful like when you confide in your co-workers because even though they may agree with you in conversation they'll turn around and go tell that leader what you said and now you're being retaliated against hmm. so you have to be very careful careful and mindful retaliation that's a beast and there's laws against that but it's so hard to prove it's so hard to prove. And harassment. Oh my God, harassment. I don't know. It's 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 mind-boggling, but it's more mind-boggling when it's an African American woman versus an African man, an African American woman manner, who, manager who's in a leadership role. Like, I don't want your job. Like. Yeah, maybe in the future, but maybe not this specific job. Maybe I just want you to show up and show out as my leader and help me grow. I, I, I might I, I might look up to you for the moment. I look up to you until you show your true colors. And I'm like, eh. But I might just want to grow. I, want, I, might, I, I might look up to you and I might want you to show me the robes, teach me everything so that I'm able to, to move on. If it's not here, either you will have the opportunity to get promoted there, especially if you love the company, or your leader has groomed you so well that you're able to go and move on and have opportunities elsewhere. And the sad part is leaders don't see sometimes that that's actually a good thing. If you are able to do that with your coworkers and they are able to leave and go off and, and become something great and successful, like that's a pat on the back for you. It makes you look good. Oh my gosh. But no, they got to be hating. They got to be worrying about you coming for their job or they got to be worried about whatever it is but a lot of times like i said it has nothing to do with you it has everything to do with them so don't beat yourself up um it is but it's it's just so crazy and i am i'm not down for it because i'm such a nice relaxed person and until you screw me over and then I'm going to have problems with you. I'm not the most vocal person. It, it takes a lot to get me to that point. And under pressure, I will definitely say my piece. But a lot of times I just let people do what they do. Because 
that's who they are and I just but it's not a good thing it's not always a good thing I think you definitely want to address your boss if you're in that situation address them but professionally like this say hey is there a problem do we have a problem is there something that I can do is there something what what why why we can't get along And, then, and, and don't be afraid to let them know. Like, I feel like you're stop, stop feeling me. I feel like you're holding me back. What can I do more to grow? And then if you do all of that and they still... Then you gotta, you gotta kind of look at the bigger picture and see... Is that per, if that person is really holding you back like that... Yeah, you might want to start thinking about other options. Yeah, I've been in toxic situations and they're not, they don't feel good at all. They're awful. And then you can't wait to go. And every time you're ready to go, that's when you really can't find anything else. But let it be some other time. You're like, really? I want to go now. <laughs> so, I don't know. But that's, that's just my thought. I had that on my mind and I wanted to talk about it. And I know a lot of women um, and African American people just in general we go through that but women also in general no matter race creed whatever religion we just we go through that and it's 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 awful it's awful it's awful it take we have to work hard we have to prove ourselves we have to do a whole lot we have to bend over backwards and then we got to fight with each other cuz everybody wants the same job and then you got to fight with each other and awful but that's my two cents I don't know I um I'm a firm believer that God puts you in places for a reason and it's a learning experience and so I am still learning um a lot and seeing a lot but what I also learned that no matter where you go gonna always be faced with challenges um, it's just what what experiences that you that you had had in the past will determine how you react to those challenges yeah mm. so that's my discussion for the day so I'll give a few guys later